Okay. So first pole position, I'd probably oh, say, left to grid. in probably about a few years, actually, and an official. Definitely not what I'm used to. I've been qualifying towards the front in a fair few races recently, but not on pole. Just have to be careful with the pace car as well. Obviously, we can't exactly hit it, we go for it. But it may drive unnecessarily slow because of the track being as wet as it is. Just obviously care for the pace like guys, the safety car is gonna be unusually slow because of how wet the track is. I just ended my Because as soon as the pace car pulls off, I do have um, a priority of how, how I want to control the traffic um, within reason. About to go green, stay focused. Catch the pace car. Pace car is off. Right, off we go. Green flag, green flag. What the fuck, man? What are you doing? Them. Why are you trying to jump the start, dog? What the fuck are you talking about jumping the start? Don't worry, mate. Don't worry. Hold on, mate. Hold on. I feel so good about that. Doing quite well. You can just tell by how much. I have a remote other already.
but you can also tell by just how bad the drop conditions are. Only one other driver that's actually kind of picked up. But for me, for the most part, right now, it's just about keeping the car on the track. As you can see right there, we're scarring. Even on the entry to the turn, I'm going so slow, I'm braking so early, oh but God, still, that. you can probably so say that I am probably only just about managing to stop the car. There are certain areas I think you've got to be especially careful. It does seem like that the rain is stopping. Might be just raining in places. The fact that I'm pretty much doing similar places to you too, for now, is not a bad thing necessarily. Definitely doesn't seem like he is quicker than me at the moment. But everyone else pretty much is a very long way back already. I'm trying to take a wider line here. Now, because now the rain has stopped, this track will gradually get quicker and quicker every single way. So my personal best there, do not even think about it because you can see that P2 is no speed. Just get the fastest lap. 9.57. So take my fastest lap that I've just done like a pinch of salt. Because I will probably do a few seconds faster this very next lap. I'm not even push. But you can see there, I'm already a second up on my previous plan. And I'm not even pushing. You can still see I am legitimately struggling. I am at the moment. And that is all because the track is very noticeably not having as much water on the track. And 
and this will keep happening every single lap. I'm not going to tell the guy behind me, but if obviously he is, if um, Irwin does catch up to me, I'm not even going to look up the Because we could have a crash together, he is noticeably quicker than me. We could crash into each other, but us two just simply battling. Um, he could have an incident later on. So, you just hit the faster flat. So you can see there, no to be quicker. But he's just done a quick lap. Car in P2, just hit But another thing you may notice, I think a lot of drivers have difficulty with, is because. Um, they're finding that they're having difficult turning it into certain points, especially in other corner conditions. Use the accelerator to get yourself around the corner. It sounds counterintuitive to what we're used to, but that's kind of what you've got to do, particularly in this very car. You've got to use the accelerator to get the car around. If you don't use the accelerator, it's actually not going to go around, around the corner as, a, as well as what you might like. So use the accelerator to get the front end. We're going to be taking a small field during the race, not that much. Right now we're going to I have started to notice I'm pulling away from her when you get up, which is great. Which is a very important thing with these type of conditions where it's wet, but Oh, here comes some more rain. Okay. This will make things interesting. If the rains come back again. Turn the wipers back on. Now I'm hoping that David and Ed have the faster flat. Won't cause too much of an issue. It did make a mistake. Make sure we get in between the white line. You only want to press the accelerator a smaller, a small amount when going around the corner. You don't want to fully really press it down because that would just get the car. Left side. Do this nice and carefully. Make sure there's less risk as possible. Don't be afraid with losing time. You know, wet conditions is, can become very unpredictable if you're trying to drive too fast. So don't be afraid of losing a little bit of time to make sure you're um, getting past pack markers efficiently. Last thing you want to be doing is be getting involved in it with that pack.
So with the rain now being quite heavy, it might make the track conditions worse. In an ideal world, you always want to try and go a little bit faster each lap. But safety and making sure that you are not getting into any accidents, no matter how big they might be, is so important. Near enough went ground then. The track conditions around the star is quite bad. I think it's quite wide. I'm going to try and bring it in if I can. So you drive on the brakes on there, I think. That is one of the boards with weaknesses, though. Stopped here around the Lesmos. It's only around the Lesmos that there's no rain. Around everywhere else there is rain. The victory is only going to be go go to either me or Erwin at this rate. We're both much quicker than anybody else. Unless, of course, something happens to both of us, that is the way it's going to be. One of us two is between us two. The one thing you may notice that I am doing along the straight, I'm not going to a side of the track. I'm actually keeping it in the middle. A lot of people will probably ask me, why am I doing that? The reason why is because I know a certain way through the straight, there is a very long white line, that's pit exit line, and there's a large form of puddle, like a water, that has formed. Um, on the left hand side of the track now the reason why I do that is because one if if there is a car to the left hand side it is the safest place is to be in the middle of the track because of the track conditions specifically on that area of the track with the way that the water is formed but on top of that as well I don't necessarily want to brake on a large form of water 
you want to just dry on just the wet so you want to try and brake on the smoothest pack of road surface possible by doing that on a puddle you risk aquaplaning and aquaplaning is like driving on ice it's basically that there is absolutely zero traction there is like there is absolutely no grip whatsoever you are completely out of control you just back but you want to keep to the middle of the track and I'll do it this again this lap so you'll see going across this straight there is um, a small form of water to the right hand side and there is some to the left hand side I'm keeping to the middle of the track. I now see that there is the white line there. I keep to the middle of it. Now, if I was to touch the white line at any point during my braking, I am naturally just going to aquaplane because that is paint, basically. People, anybody that touches that is a one way destination to and you can do that very quickly, very easily. So by keeping to the middle of the track, it eliminates that risk or possibly aquaplaning or sliding across the track in any way so it's very unpredictable and makes you very unsafe and you're also giving yourself off that puddle as well and follow it To make, but pit stop will be coming up soon, so you've got about five laps of fuel. Let's put it to 18 for now. We've got 18 meters. We're already past the halfway point on the way. This race is actually on quite rarely quickly. Yeah, he's pushing hard. There's no doubt about that. But he's just lost a lot of time because he's outbreaks himself. conditions are very good. It does seem like as if P3 is actually starting to catch up a little bit.
Yeah, he's just got only a slow down there. He will lose a lot of time. But the track conditions are getting worse. You might be able to notice that just by looking at the uh, the track. But I can just feel it in the wheel. Okay, I'm right now. That this these track conditions are getting worse. I can also see it as well. There's more larger forms of water that is just forming on the track surface. And this is something that you will have to just watch out for. And this is what makes this type of racing quite difficult. But with practice, you will get used to it because you'll know what to expect from your car. P3 is definitely pushing, but he's made a mistake. Okay, so it's rain has stopped at the LED mode again. But that is the only area of the track where rain is, is stopping momentarily. But everywhere else it is always raining. I am going to put in enough fuel to be able to do an extra lap on the road. And that is just to make sure that if I am suddenly using more fuel per lap, Ooh, that's my first soft track. But if I am easily using more fuel per lap, yeah, about two laps of fuel after left. my stop, then at least I have enough fuel. Or at least I believe I should be. Because varying track conditions will mean how much will differ with how much fuel you're using over the course of the race. When the track gets faster, you are going to use a lot more fuel. So be prepared for that as well. The car behind you pitting. Okay, Irving's now pitting. We'll be pitting at the end of this lap. Has stopped even around here. And now it's the Lesmos that is the only area of the track that is running.
have about one lap of fuel left. Okay, so let's box this lap. To make sure we don't get the pit for more fuel. We're going to be putting in plenty of fuel. We don't really want to be caught short. So we have pole position, so the we will be in. very yeah. fast pit box. Five, three, two, one. Right here. We're in a great spot for some hardware. Right, ten minutes to go. Okay, punch it. Now pit exit, take it nice and easy because there is a um, there is some standing water to the right hand side. You can't cross that white line, don't forget. And nice and easy back onto track. So we're pretty much set now and we're ready for any type of possibility as well. We're ready for if there is more rain, we know how to fight that, we know how to adjust. And if it does get quicker, we're putting extra fuel to manage that. Obviously at this point now we're coming to the end. Obviously I said at the start that if Erwin was to catch up to us, that we would really fight him in any way. Now that that plan is now going to change. So if he does catch up for any reason, we will now actually be fighting for him as hard as we can within the legal regulations. So we're not gonna bend any rules, we're not gonna be exacerbating any rules or anything like that, we're gonna fight him fair. But we are going to fight him because at this point on now in the race we are so far ahead of even p3 that for him to be able to catch up one of us two has to make a mistake and we're fairly even on pace you've got about five laps of fuel <laughs> Okay, though. Oh, Brendan's coming again. The car is C3, just at the fastest lap. 2.929.
tyres are perfectly fine, so that's good to know. Okay, so it stopped at the Lesmos again. But I am noticing a little bit of a pattern with the weather. It always likes to stop at Les the Lesmos with the rain before anywhere else, but it does come back. But bear in mind with that, what I'm saying with the rain is not going to be the same every race. And that's what makes these varying grass conditions hard. So there'll be two to go at the line. All we're doing now is just managing that gap. That's all we're doing. We're not looking to make another new faster slap or anything like that. We're just managing that gap. Definitely catching up. Right. Let's just bring it home. Work. This is the white flag lap. There's two seconds back. We've lost a second on that last lap. You've got about two laps of fuel left. This has actually been a fairly quick lap, so we've not actually catching up. 
Like it may be a couple of tens, but that's about it. to get through here. Yeah, it's definitely a lot stronger than me through um, Aspari. But one and a half seconds back, coming up to the final turn. Should be fine. And there we go, P1 led every well done, single round. You won. See you in victory lane. Yeah, thanks, Erwin. Uh, Fred, good race for you as well. I thought you was going to catch up to me at the end, so good time. Uh, yeah, I think I got a little bit lucky with just being consistent. But that's what it means, really. You don't have to be the fastest. As long as you're consistent, keeping it on track, that is fine. That is so. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a like and also subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you guys next time.